Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful Ponytown News update video. It's always a mouthful, but today we have ourselves a version 0.95.0. Spring is finally here, guys. Winter is finally done. Skella killed winter. Skella defeated winter. It is now spring. The, uh, this update, this update in particular, brings back the game music, which has been missing for quite a while. Also adds new placeable island objects and all kinds of interesting things like that. So let's get into the change log here and then show you those new items. So, of course, it's the start of the spring season so the map is going to look totally different it's going to be completely redecorated it's going to be spring instead of winter that's pretty cool they concluded the valentine's day event so you won't be able to find those valentine's related items on the map and stuff like that you can still access them from the build menu and you can still place them on your island so they're not gone forever and uh, maybe it'll come back next valentine's Ooh, spooky spooky of course the reworked music back end that's basically a fancy way of saying that they re-added the music and it made it work better or whatever they expanded the construction site still still a little bit bare bones but it's starting to get uh, we're starting to see a little bit of progress there added new placeable objects double beds large knives heart notes small and large vines small and large grape vines paper lanterns that are huge stone fences pillars uh, all kinds of really cool stuff like that there's there's a lot of excellent items in here some that might actually be a little bit confusing uh, i'll get into that in a moment they also added the ability to carry more items on plates such as crystals candy canes um whatever that word is tulips daffodils blueberry flowers blueberry flowers is that a thing what are blueberry flowers apparently this is a blueberry flower that's what that's what this thing is i don't remember this existing i don't know what blueberry flowers are but roses poppies dandelions daisies all that all that jazz like that they also added small caps font symbols not 100 percent sure what that even means but they also improved colliders to some objects improved large paper lantern snow sprite uh improved vertical fence beams and rope beams and and stuff like that pretty cool stuff reduced ponies time swap after using the in-game editor so and of course they fixed a bunch of other things like that such as not being able to fly over vertical knives which i didn't even realize was an issue or whatever but hey who am i to judge so uh yeah those are the changes let's go ahead and talk about uh what the actual thing looks like oh look at that i'm in the game here are all the new items that are available to you uh here are the new uh large knives uh, i put them right next to the uh small knives so that you can kind of tell the difference we have a huge knife or a small knife here and then and then a huge knife there's not too much of a difference but the big knife is a little bit more threatening and of course we now have access to these stone walls and the stone pillar thingy and all these different fences that we can now place and move around if you don't believe me that these are actual fences and stuff like that that we can uh move around well look at that i can, I can just pick it up and move over the crowbar if i want to this is what i'm talking about when i say that this update is a little bit confusing because if we get ourselves just a saw or whatever like that we can still place like fences like this and also we can place fences as objects now that's pretty cool that's good but that's going to lead to a lot of confusion because there's already so much confusion on oh how do you how do you even place walls or how do you delete walls i get questions like that literally all the freaking time so this is going to make it even more confusing for players probably but it's pretty cool um one thing that i do find a little bit weird though that we don't have is we cannot place walls uh that are like these we cannot place these kind of small stone walls we can only place them as objects see it's already confusing right i keep saying place instead of place which is really confusing but we can we can obviously place these down from the build menu uh if you're curious to where they are they're in the outdoor tab scroll over a little bit you'll find all these new uh fence pieces and stuff like that there's all kinds of them uh vertical pieces of course as well very nice very lovely awesome 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 and then of course we have these fences here these are very classic fences they're thin fences they look lovely and a lot of builds so i can only imagine what a lot of people are going to do with these as soon as people start messing with these more often and now of course we have grape vines uh we can get we can get some grapes from this and eat ourselves some grapes Ooh, that's pretty spooky uh, <laughs> i don't know why i say that all the time um we have vines uh they're pretty neat they have colliders but not on the sides so that's pretty cool uh attention to detail you know what i'm saying and if we grab ourselves a rake uh that's why this rake is here we can actually change the season of these from uh auto to to this to that whatever um and stuff like that and then of course we can get uh all kinds of grapes uh during the fall season these will never have grapes apparently um because they're 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 not fully grown they're not fully grown so they don't have 
grapes. Uh, but yeah, you can get grapes on all kinds of different ones and stuff. So that's pretty neat and pretty cool. And then of course we have double beds. This is what it meant by double beds. Ooh, what if I, what if, what if we put our, our beds next to each other in Minecraft? <laughs> Just kidding, unless. Basically is what uh, they said, and so they did it. Um, so now there is double beds. It's it's two beds in one. There is a uh, all kinds of different shapes and directions for that as well. Obviously, one facing right, one facing left, one that's upside down, so on and so on. Uh, then they added this little heart letter here. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can now place that on your island. You can consume it if you want to. And they have uh, these huge paper lanterns. One of them is lit all the t well. One of them is lit during night or whatever, and the other one is just off all the time. Uh, and you can change the color of those as well if you want to. So if I wanted to change that to yellow or green or something like that, I can totally do that. And there's many different colors for you to, to play around with and interact with there. So that's pretty much it for all of, all of these things that they added to the uh, game for you to place on your island. But there is another thing, of course, how I mentioned earlier, you can now pick up plates and then pick up roses or other flowers and put them on the plate. It works just the same as it, as it does at the bakery. Just go up to a rose or some item that you want to put on the plate. You just click that item and it's not working because it's it's too close to the plate so i keep interacting with the plate instead so that's kind of that's kind of messy but anyway if i just click the rose uh it'll get the rose and it'll put it on the plate and i can carry this around somewhere if i want to put it on a table if i'm at the bakery or something like that and that'd be pretty nice so obviously this is my island so this is a bad representation of what the season actually looks like but if i actually go to the main map which is, which is what i'm doing now you can see that it is now uh the spring season i can put this on this table by the way as i mentioned earlier i don't know why i flipped like that that's a little bit weird as you can see here we have uh the spring version of the marketplace uh available now there are now clovers around the map you can collect uh four leaf clovers if they happen to spawn in one of the clover patches and of course if we continue on in this direction we will eventually run into the construction site it does look a little bit better now there is now stone here and there is a little bit of lumber on the side uh this person is building they they, they, they picked up a, a little saw you can thank them you you can thank them for the building when it's done because they're cutting all this wood for you uh but yeah that's pretty much it for the update there's not really much else to say or discuss or really share with you other than the fact that uh the music is back now um if you don't believe me obviously it's muted because uh it makes it makes it very loud and hard to understand me and hear me or whatever but if i click this setting icon up here in the top right it will be on by you uh, it will automatically be uh at like half volume for you by default so don't be shocked when you enter the game and like there's volume or whatever but you can now see that there's this little slider and I can move this slider up and now music should be playing. Uh, it took a minute for it to start for some reason. That's kind of weird. There it goes. The music started and I can of course uh, lower this volume, which is what I'm going to do. And I can change uh, the uh, thing from this to... Uh, well, I guess I guess I can't. There it goes. <laughs> It's it's like there's like a delay now or something. It never used to be. It never used to take that long. So maybe that's that's the only way they could get it back or something. I don't know. But uh, as you can see, um, you can now change the tracks and mute the volume or turn the volume all the way up. So yeah, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I would sure as heck love to uh, see you guys become channel members. Here are the channel members I have currently um, on the Scala's hit list tier um, and stuff like that. No one's got the loyal banana uh, tier yet. So that's fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like, subscribe, share, and do all those wonderful things like that. Because when you do those wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, not apples. Say no to apples, kids. But you also get to become wonderful for yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful.